morning everybody it is bright and early in the morning and I have a doctor's appointment but it was a horrible horrible night I could not get to sleep it was about 1 30 I finally started falling asleep and then Mojo climbed on top of me two o'clock I was cleaning the kitchen and about 3.30, I, I finished putting the Halloween Village together. Um, I came back in, laid down, then I got restless legs. Ah! So I got up, had a cup of hot chocolate, because sometimes that helps to relax that. Didn't work, so I took a shower. So I didn't end up going to sleep until about 6 o'clock this morning. Kevin woke me up at 7 because my mother-in-law was picking me up at 7.30 to take me to the doctor's and I slept until she got here and woke me up and then I had to just throw clothes on and go. I'm going to have something to eat and watch some of my shows that recorded last night and probably take a nap because... I probably only got maybe two hours last night total, if that. So I am checking out some comments on Facebook right now, and yay, we have 2,306 subscribers! Yay! We broke my record that I wanted to break. We have never hit 2,300, and now we are over it. Thanks guys, we wouldn't have been able to do if it do it if it weren't for all of you. What in the heck is your problem there, Missy? Your spaz. Yeah. Now you're just gonna lay there and lick your paw like nothing's going on. Where just a minute ago, you were biting at my fingers, and you were scratching all over the bed, and you were scratching my legs. Thought maybe you became a, an infected zombie cat or something. Gonna do it again? She keeps looking up at the camera like, are you still port taping me? Are you still pointing that thing at me? Look at her. Oh my god. What you know? She's like licking the sheets and rubbing her head and her cheek and face all over it. She's she's marking her territory. Hey. This is my territory. What? And then I what? <laughs> They're all laying flat. You're a spaz. And then I am going Your nickname's to gonna be the Spasmodic. <laughs> We're gonna name you after and the Spasmodic. Yes. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? I am looking at a coffin for sale on Craigslist. The girl doesn't come with the coffin. <laughs> I asked already. Does that picture come with it? That's a pretty That's, picture. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. No, but uh, this is what I'm looking at. And yes, we're looking to buy a coffin. And You know what, honey? I'm just thinking that when if, if that one is still there and we go to his house and the other ones are still there maybe we should try and make him an offer and get two 
What are we going to do with two of them? You can never have too many coffins. Yes, you can. No, you can't. What if we ever need to dispose of somebody very quickly? Come on, Boris. What if we have to dispose of the spasmodic? Hello, everybody. We are doing the Halloween fall, fall tag. tag. Who tagged us? We were way? tagged by Robert's Reality. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Robert's Reality. <laughs> it's Anthony and Lexi, I believe. <laughs> and it has 15 questions. All so, right. We'll try to go through them fast because it's a lot. Yeah, and you know me. I always talk a lot. So, <laughs> one, favorite part of Halloween? Uh, I would say it is uh, the, the fall weather and our parties. I would say decorating for Halloween and our parties. What, when was the last time you trick-or-treated? Somewhere in the late 60s, probably. Early 70s. I think I was 16. I don't know what year that was. I'm old now, so. I think I, I was 16. I probably stopped around 10 or 11. Really? That young? Yeah. Wow. I think I was 16. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Well, I actually like candy corn, which a lot of people don't. But it has to be good candy corn. It can't be just some cheesy cheap stuff my I don't have a favorite Halloween candy and a regular candy I just like Reese's peanut butter cups and where I went trick-or-treating we used to get a lot of those anyway so that was my favorite Halloween candy and my favorite regular candy what is your costume this year zombie Daryl Dixon and I'm going to be a zombie prom queen uh, what is your favorite, what was your favorite costume? I'd say my favorite costume was uh, when we all dressed up as vampires. Yeah, that's my favorite too, that year when uh, we all did that. that I was, think that was think pretty cool. 2004, our 2004 party. Yeah. What is your least favorite costume? Well, I'm actually going to say that it, it was when I uh, we did Adam and Eve and I had to wear that skin tight Adam I, I actually I'll go with that too I didn't like that costume either I was a little on the heavy side that's when I started getting on the heavy side I'm heavy now but and it was kind of a little revealing and I wasn't too happy with that one either so yeah that was my least favorite costume do you plan on going to a haunted house corn maze etc um we've been, the two been there already done that. <laughs> We'd go to more if we had time. We go every single year to Not Scary Farm because that's where we went for our honeymoon and that's where we go every year for our anniversary. And Universal, Universal. Studios is now stepped up so we'll probably be going to both of those every year. Yeah. Um, have you always loved Halloween? Always. For as long as I can remember. My favorite um, time of year. Yeah, me too. But problem was is that my family wasn't really into it the way I am. So when you see this house, when you, you've seen our decorations from previous parties, that never happened at my house growing up. So uh, do you usually buy your costumes or make them? We've done both. This year they're, they're bought. And, uh, but our zombie bride and groom was pretty much homemade. Yeah, that was that was me. That was pretty cool. Um, favorite t hold on, favorite Halloween TV special. Um, always, always, always. Um, uh, it's the Great Pump and Charlie Brown is always the big one. That's mine too, cause I love Snoopy. I love him, love him, love him. Uh, I know Megan's is going to be uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, that's a movie, not a town. Oh, oh, oh! So it's going to be all the Halloween towns. Yeah, we, we own them all. And they're upstairs in her room. So. So. Um. Da da da. Um. Favorite monster. Um. Uh, 
Pinhead from Hellraiser? I had to really think about this one because it's hard for me to choose a favorite. There's so many good ones out there. I'm going to have to go with Jason from Friday the 13th. Huh? What is your favorite Halloween movie? Halloween. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously, Halloween. Movie made just for Halloween. It's got to be Halloween. And we do every year a Halloween marathon. My favorite Halloween movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas because I love Jack Skellington. Uh, favorite scary movie? The Haunting, the original 1963? I don't know if that's With the Claire year. Blue? Yeah, I don't know if that's the year, but yes, I agree. I think that a lot of people don't like black and white movies, but I tell you, those scary, old-fashioned black and white movies really do get you. If you guys have never watched it, you really should. Uh... What are your plans for Halloween? Party. Party! 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 And the last question, favorite Halloween decoration? Uh, it have to be our bar. Our bar, for sure. It's, which is up all year round, so it's always Halloween here. <laughs> yeah, we never take the bar down. So that's all of our questions, and we get to tag um, three people. And I think we should tag Meet the Presleys, Sarah and Josh, Lucy Blue Bones, and who else? Who do you want to check? Dana B. <laughs> Dana, you got tagged. <laughs> so, anyway, Meet the Presleys, Lucy Blue Bones, and Dana B. Saw, you've been tagged. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Guess what time it is? It's time for the Boomer Show. Come on. Come on up. Come on, Boom Boom. You can do it. You can do it. Pick him up. Jump. Oh, yeah. See? He can do it. Guess what time it is? It's Shout out. Shout out time! I thought she was going to forget. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> John Ambler is in a marching band, and his band played Pink Floyd's The Wall. And we're going to put a link down below so you guys can check it out. It was pretty good. Pretty interesting. C. Davis was sent over by Justina. Yay. Thanks, Justina, and welcome to the neighborhood, C. Davis. Glad to have you. Okay, now, I'm sorry if I don't get this right. The real Brits of... The real Brits of New York. The, okay, the real Brits of New York. He got it. Also known as Sue. <laughs> It's also new. Welcome to the neighborhood. Glad to have you. Hope you guys enjoy what you see. And Amanda Nichols, one of our neighbors, our, well, our, one of our neighborhood community members, had surgery and she had two large masses removed from her abdomen. Thank God they were both non-cancerous and I am so happy she is home and she is recovering. If everyone can please say a prayer for her for her quick recovery, that would be wonderful. Thank you guys. And Amanda, we are so glad you're home and recovering. And welcome back to the neighborhood. We missed you. Cha. 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 Anyway, it's time for our neighborhood community credit roll. I had to get closer to his ear when I yelled that. You need to do this. When are you going to do it? I'm not going to do it. It's your thing. 
they, but, they don't want to hear me do but it. But what if something happens to me? Nothing's going to happen to you. What if I have to go in for surgery that I'm going to end up having to spend the night? You're going to bring the camera into the hospital and have me do it in the hospital? Yes. While I'm all drugged up? Yes. Okay, so let's try this, okay? Hey, everybody. Yeah, thanks for being here. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you. We... I can't do it. Hey, guys. Thank you for being here. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you guys. We love you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, I said it wrong. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thumbs up. We love, and we will see you tomorrow. We love you. <laughs> Bye.